In this video, uh, we're going to cover the rounds page and how to set up and adjust your rounds. Um, I just want to point out that um, in my example here, I'm using two, um, two bracket types. You might have one, you may have more than that. Um, that's fine. I'm just using the uh, four-man round robin and an eight-man wrestle back um, to help me uh, briefly um, just go over the rounds. Um, the way to get to your rounds page is by clicking the setup button here, um, clicking rounds. And then this is your rounds page right here. And you'll notice that um, for each round of every bracket type, there is already a round um, created. And the system automatically does that whenever you select the bracket type. Um, so the system will automatically try to put them in a logical order. Um, but a lot of times you might want to make um, adjustments to that. So in this case, it's going to go... Um, they got my eight mans running first um, in weight class order. And then once those are done, they're going to go to the four mans, um, back to the ace, back to the fours, and so on. Um, so what I would like to do here actually would be uh, I want everyone to wrestle in the first round together. So I'm going to place a check mark next to that uh, quarterfinals one right here. And then the round one um, four man. And then I'm going to click on this combined selected rounds. I'm going to name this uh, round one, obviously, because this is my first round. And I'm going to hit OK. And now you'll notice that um, under round one, there is two different bracket types and the match IDs that are in that round one. All right, and then we're going to move on to the next one. And I'm going to um, combine these two right here. And we will name those uh, round two. Click OK there. Now you notice that round two has um, you know, a four man and eight man with the next set of rounds and matches and whatnot. Um, I'm going to skip this one right now. And we actually want the finals to wrestle the same time as the round three, the four mans. So I'm going to check these two. Um, we're going to hit combined again. And let's name this one round four. So now currently we have a round one, a round two, a wrestle back, and a round four. So just for the sake of making um, um, this just look nicer, I'm going to click on the second wrestle back here. And then the round name, I'm going to change this to round three. I'm going to save the round detail. And now you notice that my rounds are round one, round two, round three, and round four. So basically what's going to happen is all the four mans and eight mans, um, every weight, are going to wrestle in weight class order. Um, until they're done with, with these match IDs. And then it's going to jump right into this next round right here. And, uh, and so on. The, this page right here is super important to make sure you have it right and how you want, uh, how you want your event run. Um, the, round, the rounds page basically determines how your bouts are scheduled and assigned. So it's, it's important to have this page looking the way you want it to look. Um, if there's ever uh, a situation um, that you need to reorder your rounds, um, you can do that by, you know, uh, these arrows right here. Um, just make sure you click save round order. And obviously what I did right now wouldn't make sense. You wouldn't wrestle round twos and semis before these ones. Um, I was just using that as an example. Um, and then another, another kind of um, uh, edit you can make here would be, if let's say you wanted this four-man round robin to wrestle with the wrestlebacks here. You can click on this arrow right here, and it's going to boot um oops you gotta type move up here and it's going to boot that one that one weight class up to round three um i'm going to put it back there just because that makes the most sense so i'm going to type and move down and i'm able to move that one down um another uh another kind of change edit that um a lot of people do on the rounds page would be if they want um, a round just for like the first third or fifth place matches by themselves because um, sometimes they use those to assign on specific mats and whatnot. So basically what you want to do here is, uh, let's open up round four. Let's say we wanted the first place match from the eight-man uh, eight bracket to have their own round. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the bracket. I'm going to figure out the bout number or the match ID of the first place match, which is 11. I'm actually going to remove 11 from this. So instead of 11 through 13, we have 12 through 13. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to, you'll notice that it says third and fifth. So now I'm going to add another round here. I'm going to name it um, first place match, or just first place. I'm going to add it. It's going to ask me my match IDs. And then um, if you remember here, about, uh, 
or match ID 11 is first place. So I'm going to add 11 here. Hit save round detail. And now you'll notice that um, the first place round or first place match has its own round. You could do these for uh, you know third place matches, fifth place matches, um, like or or if you wanted to you know on this round right here, if you wanted the consolation round one to have its own round, the semifinals to have its own round, um, that is how you would go in there and split those up. Uh, again, the rounds page is very very important piece um, to the overall picture of how your tournament's going to run. Um, some we we uh, we encourage you. To get onto the testing site, play around with that, run a mock tournament just so you can see how everything is going to flow and um, it will help you make sure that it's set up the way that you want to.